Just something to think about. Most likely we're going to play at Hearts. And six hearts is a bigger score. Right? Six hearts is a bigger score. On the other hand, if it's a situation where not everybody, is, yeah, it, it is, again, possible but unlikely that six diamonds makes where six hearts does not. But that also may have to do with the lie of the cards and how the suits break, and we're never going to find out about that until we play the hand. Um, and the other thing is, too, if this is a kind of a borderline slam that not everybody in a, in a room, a full room, are, are going to bid, if this is a slam that not every, you get to a good slam that other, other pairs don't, don't get to, it won't matter so much whether you play six diamonds or six hearts, because just for being in a making slam, you get most of the match points right there. If it's not an obvious slam that everyone is bidding. So. Now, you probably aren't going to slam on this hand, but but you might. It, it's you know it's it's hard to tell. Um, so if partner bid a splinter there, could opener bid a splinter there? Like if we're we actually getting to that next. Oh, okay. So. Opener might have shortness somewhere, but we don't know about it on this auction, do we? However, that does. Th why don't we get into the last example um, in this theme here, um, where there is a splinter by opener? What if opener were to bid three spades? What would you do if it was three hearts? How would you continue? How would I continue? I would probably bid four diamonds. Which, is, which happens to be natural, but you also have the king of diamonds, so it could be whether partner takes that as natural or a, a cubid, um, it's going to say, hey, I have some slam interest, right? Because if, when partner jumps to three hearts, if you're doing anything other than signing off in game, you must have some slam interest, right? If you weren't interested in slam, you would bid four hearts and call it good. But so doesn't the three heart bid deny shortness in one of the by not splintering he's denying shortness? Splinter's game forcing. Uh, three hearts is not forcing. Remember we were just talking about that? Three hearts is invitation. Yeah. I know. I know. You can't you can't splinter and invite. If you splinter like this, you force the game, right? Opener what remember opener's three heart bid can be a sixteen count. That is not game forcing opposite a hand that just bit a heart, right? You don't have to have a full opener here. You know, you might your heart might be a six count, right? So remember, opener can't just go forcing the game with some, you know, more ordinary sixteen or seventeen. Got to give room for partner to have a, a weaker response. I get it. Yeah. You may want a splinter, and or in fact, maybe you have up maybe you have shortness somewhere, and you have upgraded your hand from a two heart raise to a three heart raise because of shortness but you can't show that shortness, right? That's the, that's the problem you run into. So you'd love to be able to do that. There are some auctions where if you've ever heard of mini splinters, uh, there are some auctions um, where you can do that, um, but that's a, that's a partnership agreement. Um, and, We're not there yet. And you can't, and you can't yeah. always do that, yeah. Not, not every auction is gonna allow you to do that, so. But let's look at this strongest auction here. And a splinter always implies that you have your partner suit. You must have, yes, you have four partner suit. So here, opener has a hand that A, is willing to be in game, even if you responded on a six count. Right. B, has four cards to part support, because splinters promise four, not just three. And then the third piece, it's a singleton spade. And if there's any doubt in your mind about the three spade bid, if you if this comes up and you look at this and you're like, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> is that spades? Hopefully you can reject that and say that three spades cannot be spades. I, I notice a spade better when it goes to the fourth level as opposed to the third You mean level. a splinter? Splinter, yeah. I reckon, of course. But, yeah, but, but, I, yeah, but I have to learn yeah, that. But, yeah, the, 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 yes, but the concern is anytime you see a bid like four, if you see a bid of four of a major, like four hearts or four <gasps> spades, that looks like a game. That looks like a place to play, doesn't it? <laughs> doesn't look like a splinter. So, so, but if you think about it, again, go, go through our rationale. 
you know, can this be spades? Well, no, because opener could rebid one spade with a minimum hand with spades, or could jump shift to two spades if they actually had spades, four spades along with their diamonds and wanted to force, right? So if partner naturally had spades, we'd hear one or two. So if we're going all the way to three, this, ha this has to be some kind of conventional thing, right? Why would we, why would we make such a crazy bid? <laughs> Do splinters so. only exist in support of major suit? Uh, no, you can splinter in support of minors. They're a lot less common, but, but they can be done. Does it always have to be a double jump? Um, it generally is. I think there's um, examples in here where it isn't. So there's the, the, only, the only, typically the only time when they're not is, uh, is in a, um, there are some splinters that could take place in a, within a two over one that are not double jumps. But that's, I wouldn't worry about that for today. All right, so this is game forcing, all right? And I hope responder, I, I hope that if you hear a splinter in spades, um, I hope that you are pretty much committed to slam at this point. So we would probably go back and say, okay, <laughs> yeah, no trumps out, partner has a singleton spade. That's easy, right? Mm -hmm. And hopefully you think, you know, unless partner has grossly overbid here, um, we're actually gonna rule out game and say, okay, we should be looking at a small slam and possibly a grand slam. Does a splinter imply points other, well, it does, because he doesn't know that you actually have game. Right, Re remember, all opener knows about your hand, I, you know, right now, is, is you only promised six points. Yeah. So you're thinking to yourself, ooh, Partner's got a great hand because she just did this when I might have only six points. And guess what? I've got a full opening hand and it's a pretty good one. I have a fifth heart, not just four. And it's a good suit, it's ace queen. And oh, by the way, I have king queen of diamonds. And again, we know that the diamonds, there's a, a, an inference here that the diamonds are a real suit because opener is distributional, right? <clears throat> um, Woolsey gives an example in the book of an absolute minimum splinter. You know, what is basically the dead minimum that opener could have to bid this way? Note that that is only 16 high card points. I think the hand is probably worth a splinter, even opposite a partner that may only have six points. It's got, it's got good texture to it. I would probably consider that a slight stretch for the splinter bid, but hardly, uh, you know, uh, something that's out of line. Look at those two hands together. Mm -hmm. It's six hearts, or for that matter, six diamonds. Isn't it just lay down? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They take their spade if they want it, and we all go home. <laughs> So as responder, this is what you want to be thinking. About. You're like, th th this is why you can, this is why you can rule out game and say, okay, I, I think we have a, a slam. Even if partner stretched a little bit, with a, a only 16 count, but good controls, right? You know, excellent heart support with king jack fourth of your suit, the singleton spade, good controls other places. You know, we said you know we figured the diamonds would be natural here, since partner is distributional and first and second round control of clubs. We would add three points for it being a singleton, so it would be 19. Yeah, however you arrive at it, you know, uh, you know if, you, if you say, okay, well, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be the dummy in a heart contract, and so I'm gonna, you know, <coughs> beef up my count here with the, with the dummy points. Um, yeah, and, and say, this hand is worth for forcing the game. And knowing about the singleton spade, um, now you as responder, it's actually safe, you know, for you at this point probably to just go into your key card if you want. Um, technically, you know, do you have two? Do you have two quick losers in clubs? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do with Queen Doubleton in your hand, but you know what? Partner's got to have a club card to do this because you're looking at the King Queen of Diamonds and the Ace Queen of Hearts, right? And partner's points are, are, are in the minors and, and hearts, right? Because they don't have spade length. 
They can't have very many. I mean, I suppose Opener could have Ace. Singleton, might have splintered a Singleton Ace of Spades or something like that. But so yeah, so I think it's pretty much a given. Um, Would you splinter a king, a Singleton king? Because yeah, they have if I if I thought it was the best description of my hand, yeah. But you are probably safe to key card. Just make you know make sure that you know we're not off two key cards. Partner might have done this. I mean, it, we can certainly construct hands that are worth game forces where you're missing two key cards. But and from that point, you can probably figure out. Um, well, you wouldn't be able to yeah. take the king of clubs and move it up to, to the singleton king of spades and still splinter, because that king just could be worth it. Yeah, I would be. I, I probably would not be splintering if that's my hand. I thought that's maybe yeah. what Marilyn was asking. Yeah. Yeah. If this card is up here where it is of questionable value, I think I would probably just jump to three hearts. I would not splinter and force the game because that, that, that's very questionable. Whereas your king, if your king is in the club suit or in a suit where you have more than one card, um, it is definitely um, um, you know, more of a working card. Um, why don't we go ahead and break this since, since we've kind of gotten to the end of this that's, matrix thing here. That's where you would want, want to be in with the 4-4 four, four because okay. then you could get rid of... Well, no, you can't. You'd still have a loser. Oh, well. Well, yeah, I mean, you're, here you're 5-4 either way, but you, don't, but you don't need to get rid of a loser, right? Yeah. So. Okay. 